So hi, uh, my name is Harris and I'm a product manager at Google and what we're going to demonstrate here is Android N running in a concept vehicle. So what we have here is a concept vehicle which is based on a Maserati. It has a, a big 4K display which is 15 inches and it also has another display here which is 720p running in a cluster. Both are powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 820A and they're all being powered actually from the software perspective by Android N. And Android N is going to be released as an <clears throat> open source platform relatively soon. So uh, what you see here is a UX or user experience that uh, Google designers could kind of define. But uh, what you normally see in the vehicles is if the, this platform were to uh, become available pretty soon is that um, a lot of concept vehicles and a lot of vehicles in general and car manufacturers are going to change it. When I say they're going to change it is most likely they're going to have a different UI for example for a Honda Civic or for some other type of a vehicle. And this is something we're expecting. So if you were to turn on the car, uh, from our perspective one of the things that should come up usually normally as a home screen is a couple of different things. Access to the microphone and also things that you might want to find useful in the car such as playing the music, uh, quick navigation to some other places, um, also things such as, for example, calling people or traveling to SFO, which might come from your calendar. Uh, you also have quick access to things such as navigation, uh, communication, music, and some of the other automotive features. <clears throat> Last thing that we have in here is also access to heating and cooling. So, for example, because this is connected to the vehicle, you can quickly turn it off, you can turn it on, and it's actually going to control the climate. Um, do we have a quick look without your hand? Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> this was made possible by the fact that Android is actually running in the vehicle and it's actually running as an infotainment system and it is communicating through CAN bus uh, with some of the vehicle pieces such as HVAC. Um, the other things that we have is we also have in this case Google Maps. So Google Maps are going to be used for navigation in this concept, but anybody could potentially have different types of maps in here, such as here or TomTom Tom or anything else, because on Android platform, you can kind of define any kind of application to run. Um, so for a quick demonstration, if we were to navigate somewhere, we can, let's say, go to Orchard Hardware Supply Store. And what we'll see here is a couple of things happen. First thing is we start navigating. So navigation is happening in here but also at the same time we see that the navigation is also starting to happen in a cluster. Um, so in this case, uh, there's a notification that is constantly getting updated using a cluster API showcasing what is your next turn. Now, any type of a partner could potentially put this into a heads-up display or any type of a display, uh, but the goal is that from the platform perspective, you're capable of shifting information from here using the cluster API into potentially a different display. What you see here is, this is just from the concept perspective, we're simulating speed and potentially fuel, but in overall real vehicles, this is something that would probably come in from a different type of uh, uh, operating system and not from Android. Uh, so on the overall main screen now, well, there's a couple of things that are happening. Navigation is going on, but if we were to go somewhere else, so for example, we were dialing Dylan earlier, you see the navigation continues to show on the upper part of the screen, while the lower part of the screen is taken on by the main application. If we go to music, we see that the things change a little bit. Again, navigation stays as an active, but the music is now relevant and it fades away from the top. If we were to make a phone call, we'll see a couple of things happen. We get a quick notification here, and the notification is going to let you know who you're talking to. And in the second, Hi. as soon Thanks as the connection you. happens, you, get you can right actually start controlling the volume you know what type of, of via the steering wheel. If it's and it fades away. Music, but now if you go anywhere else, the phone one. call actually continues Otherwise, to show up on all of the different screens. Flight. The idea behind this is that no matter which screen you're on, you will always have accessibility to all of the things that are relevant to you while you're driving. You shouldn't have to click and search for things as you go from one area to another. Next thing we're going to demonstrate is um, third-party applications and music. A lot of people like to listen to different types of um, music or podcasts or media while they're in a car. So what you see here is a sample of few applications. There's 500 plus applications that are available today on Android Auto that will also work when actually uh, Android is embedded into the vehicle. So and these, these apps need a special certification, right? Uh, yes. So when they're defined for Android Auto, they go through a special, very special certification and they also use a templated approach. So what you see here is it's a template that has actually been defined and certified to actually fit into the car. Um, and each uh, third party is providing the data that actually gets filled into the template. 
So if you play something, what you see is you get a quick notification, it will fade away. Uh, we're gonna increase the volume just a little bit so you can hear. And the audio obviously starts coming from different speakers. I mean, this is kind of a normal thing that you would see if you get tired of that and you wanna do something else. You can click Spotify, just play something for Spotify and just plays. The nice thing about this is that all the applications that have been already developed for Android Auto just continue to work in a car when it's embedded Android. Um, and that is a really nice thing for me. Can, can you talk a little about what changed in the last year and or from from to what is going to be different Android Auto and Android N? So the difference is that for Android Auto it works by taking your phone, plugging it in, and projecting. So everything is basically being projected from your phone. With Android N, the difference is that this is an operating system that is running in the vehicle. So uh, think of it almost as the other side of the projection. And what that means is that, as the difference of that is that, as an operating system, you get capabilities such as, for example, HVAC. You can kind of do things like this. You can also, if you hear, for example, when we play things such as audio, um, you get things like steering wheel controls plus audio playing on nicely through all the speakers. Uh, you also get things like, for example, if you make a phone call, we'll try this in a second. You're going to hear the ducking actually happening, which means, for example, now the music stops, the phone call is happening, and this is all happening actually within the vehicle with no need for the phone to run any of this. So this is all fully controlled by the actual in-car system. So uh, it's not on a phone, it's on a tablet that's in the car. No, this is not even a tablet. This is actually running on a modular hardware, which could be potentially installed into any vehicle. Um, this is what Qualcomm is actually developing. This is their automotive grade chipset. Mm -hmm. And this is a modular hardware, which could potentially take it out. It has all the cellular connectivity and all the memory and etc. And in a couple of years, if you chose, you could replace this with another module. So it's in this case, we're and the car turns off because it's a real car. <laughs> if you don't turn it on every so often, it will turn out. Uh, but you kind of get the idea. So this is actually, in this case, we're showcasing a large screen. But the reason why we did this is that um, as Android, we have already showcased that we can work things on a small screen. We've also showcased that we can do things on an eight inch screen. We showcase that as Android, as a platform, we can support multiple types of configurations and we can also support multiple types of different screens that are running Android in different ways. Um, obviously, all the VR buttons and everything is also integrated, so if you stop using, there's buttons here in the back of the steering wheel. You can press, they will just stop. You can also do VR, and we'll try it because it's very loud. Navigate to SFO. Yeah. I don't know if it hurt us or not. Yeah, so it's San Francisco Airport um, and it will start navigating. And there's a whole bunch of other commands. In this case, we're using Google and we're communicating to Google. But um, overall, anybody could use any type of a different type of, um, uh, I would say, voice controls, for example, Nuance or anything like that. So. And uh, what does it mean for the car manufacturer that it's no longer on your phone, but it's in a module in the car? So for car manufacturers, what it means is when they're selecting an operating system, they will have more choices. So for example, today they're selecting between QNX, Linux, and a couple of different ones. It just gives them all more opportunity or more choices to select a different operating system to run in a car. Um, and what we've done with Android is just provide more ability for them to integrate that operating system easier and more efficiently into their vehicles. But it is still separate from the software that sort of drives the car. Yes, yes. So this is, the Android is primarily focusing on infotainment. Uh, all the safety critical things are gonna be ran by a different probably stack and it's up to the partner to decide which kind of a stack they wanna run that with. Thank you, Harris, for showing us the new Android Auto. No problem, Thanks. anytime.